This group is Enviroprint. Hello, my name is Amy Jen. I'm a senior at Whitney Young. Hello, my name is Ruben Martin. I am a junior from Jones College Prep. Hi, my name is Latoria Overton, and I'm a senior from Jones College Prep. And we are in Bioprint. We wanted to, we noticed all these different ways that the media is telling students how the environment is being harmed, and, but they're not really telling them how they can help or explaining it well. So we wanted to create a way so that they can create a positive imprint on the environment. I mean, on the environment. <laughs> so we created environment with the help of ISC Boeing Scholars Program. <coughs> Okay, so we wanted to create this understanding of how they can make a positive imprint on their environment. So this is a continuous program from last year. We did 15 weeks last year, and we focused on global warming, prototyping, different solutions to daily problems, and also biodiversity. And this year, we wanted to focus on food and agriculture. So first off, we presented an overview of what food and agriculture was. So we focus on food production, such as the difference between organic foods or inorganic, impacts on the environment and what pollution was and how erosion was damaging our environment, and also how to make healthier food choices. So teaching them about local farmers markets and how to get the better, healthier foods. So we did a lot of different interactive activities because you also need these elementary kids to pay attention but have fun at the same time. One of the activities we did on the left, you can see it's a screenshot of the film Food Inc., which is a documentary on our food industry. And so this just showed them how different our world is now and how we changed our food production so much that we created food so fast, but there were so many negative impacts as well. And on the right, you can see there's a picture of when we had a short mission activity where they designed solutions to different food production issues and how to prototype, prototype different solutions. So for example, if the issue was that you are from planet Z and you're running out of room to plant crops, and so this would teach them how to use vertical farming as a solution. And so to wrap it up, we played Jeopardy, which was a really innovative and fun way to get them to recall everything they learned from us. So we had the different topics, animals, healthy food choices, environmental impacts, food production, and miscellaneous. And the 400 point miscellaneous question was, what are our names? And everyone got it right, which was good, and they were super happy because they got 400 points from that. And they were having a lot of fun. They named their teams Ghost Peppers and Takis. And Ghost Peppers won by 100 points. So it was really competitive, and they got into the spirit of competing. And so um, our project didn't, like the successes didn't come with some setbacks. Um, originally, we had three schools in mind. We ended up doing Skinner Elementary. Um, also, there was another problem. Um, a lot of our group members were from the 12th grade, and though their seniority did help us tremendously later on. Um, in the first few stages of the program, um, college applications and college interviews really interfered with the whole process, but ultimately um, we did progress the program and it turned out to be a great success. So to expand on some of the successes, you can see from this picture when these kids were watching Food Inc., which was this documentary on how food production changed, they were really shocked and surprised as this kid on the right head over his mouth and they were really surprised at how like food industry has changed so much and we also quantified our success because we provided a pre-assessment which was a seven multiple choice question test and after the program we gave them a post assessment and before they got about 1.4 questions right and afterwards there was a 3.7 <laughs> choice one like, questions accurate so that was a really significant difference because every child improved their score, no one deproved, no one even got the same amount of questions right, they all learned something new, so that was a success for us. So now, um, with our program, we want to say goodbye to the seniors, because we want to hand it off to the juniors. 
We also want to expand to more schools since we've only done one school so far. And we want to include more volunteers from like Key Club and National Honor Society and other students in our schools. And we want to have them go on more field trips. Last year we went to the Whitney Young Greenhouse and we want them to go to like the Field Museum or something like that. Okay, and just one more note, we really want to give a huge shout out to our mentor, Brett, because he was really supportive the whole way and he gave us reminder emails, he would encourage us when we were feeling not very optimistic and so with his help this became a reality for us and so thank you very much Brett and thank you to the IT Boeing Scholars for making this a dream come true.